Now that we know to square some two digit numbers, let us multiply two two digit numbers. Two two digit numbers. Yeah, that's kind of poetic, right? Alright, there are actually five methods to do this, but I'm going to show you four of them in this video. Though the, the one method which I'm skipping is only applicable when you have two digit num two two digit numbers uh, when they are close by to each other, like 71 times 72. But the, the methods I'm going to teach you right now are, are universal and can be applied to any numbers, any two digit numbers, or as you'll see, three digit numbers also. Uh, but uh, we'll just deal with uh, two digit numbers in this video. So the first method is addition method. Addition method. The second method is subtraction method. <laughs> I think you could guess that, right? Let me quickly write it. I don't care about my handwriting in this case. And the third method is factoring method and the final method is called as the graphical method and this method is really interesting wait for me to do this you'll really be surprised if you haven't seen this anytime alright let us study the addition method first let me do some simple multiplication let me do 13 times 12 let me do 13 times 12. Now the addition method is same as uh, the the this the splitting method uh, where you split the numbers. Like uh, you could split this as 10 plus 3, and now you could do 12 times 10, which is 120 plus 3, 12 times 3, which is 36. 120 plus 36 should give me 156. Right? Let us do some more examples. Let us do 21 times uh, 13. And I encourage you to pause the videos and do it yourself and then cross check the answer with me. Uh, even it, it might happen that I may make a mistake. I, in, in that case, you can correct me at my email address. But, but most of the times, I should get it right. And you could confirm it with a calculator if you want to. Right. Let us do 21 times 13. Now you could split either 13 or you could split 21. But since 21 gives me 20 plus 1, and 1 is very easy to multiply, and I'll do I'll split up the the above term. Then I'll do 13 times 2 because 10 uh, 10 is not counted. The zero is not counted. And we do 26. So 260 plus 1, and that plus 13 now you could make silly mistakes here and just add 1 but you have to add 13 so 260 plus 13 should give me 273 right there good one let me do one more example of the addition method and then I'll leave it up to you to try let me do a complex one 71 times let me just move out of the tens let me do 20 27 right what is 70 plus 1 71 that's 70 plus 1 let me do 27. Let me do 27 multiplied by 70. Now our 2 by 1 multiplication skills will come in handier. Let me do 7 times 2, 27. I'll just ignore the 0 and add it and, and, and just uh, place it later. If I say add, that would just mean different. So I'll place it later. Alright, I'll do 27 times 7, which is 140 plus 49, which is 189. So 189 becomes 1890, 1890 plus was 27, 1917. And let me check it with a calculator right here. Let me check it with a calculator. And this time I'm all prepared, right? Let me check it 71 times 27. That's 1970, and that gave me some confidence. Right, let me do the subtraction method now. Now, you could just uh, take a try, like, make a guess what the subtraction method could be. And the subtraction method is applicable when you have uh, the digits. Like, suppose we had, we had in the addition method, the digits were close to uh, the nearest 10. But it could be close to the farthest 10, like it could be 79 multiplied by 27. In such case, you split up 79 into 80 minus 1, and I'll do this problem a little later because uh, this is the complex one, and I, I want to do some simple one before I could show you the complex one. Let me do the same 
uh, 19 times 12. This time instead of 13, I've taken 19. Let me do 20 minus 1 here. And you could do all this in your head. You need not write anything what I've written here. You could just do it in your head. All right, let me do 20 times 12, which is 240 minus 12. 240 minus 10 is 230 minus 2 is 228. 228, right. And let me cross check it with uh, a calculator. Where it is? I think I've closed the window. I'm s I'm sorry if you have seen something bizarre happening on the screen right now, but anyways, we it's good to check our answers. Let me see, 19 times 12. Yes, that's 228. Let me minimize this, this minimize it this time so that I don't lose it. Right then, let me let me let me do let me do uh, 29 times 13. What is 29 times 13? Uh, again, this is 30 minus 1 and this is uh, 39, 30 plus 9, 39 so 390 minus 30, 390 minus 10 is 380 minus uh, 3, 377 and this should be the answer and uh, let me confirm it with my calculator, very very trusty calculator of Windows let me confirm it, what was the problem? it was 29 times 13 29 times 13. Bear with me if you're getting bored. It's 377. Yes. I thought for one second that I was wrong. Right. So let me get back to this problem. The tough one. Uh, the so-called tough one. But once we know our 2 by 1 multiplication skills, it's going to be easy. Let me do 27 times 8 and then place the 0 afterwards. 27 times 8 should be 160 plus 56. 160 plus 56 is 216. 216. 2160. 2, 2160 minus 27. 2160 minus 30. 2130. 2130. Uh, 33, I guess. I hope I am right. Let me see it. Let me confirm it. Let me confirm it. It's 79 multiplied by 27. And that's right. Now oh, that gave me another some some boost of self confidence. You notice that I just closed it and huh, what is happening with me? Anyways, let me let me let me let me do it. Let me do some more for you so that you get the idea. Let me let me try. Let me no 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 no. Let me show you the factoring method, and I I'll show the factoring method in these problems which I did. I I I don't need a new line for it. Let me do 27. What is the factor of 27? Now ignore all this for some time. Please ignore this. Please ignore this. Ignore this. Right. 27. What is 27? It is 9 times 3. What is 12? I'll do all, all three simultaneously. It is 6 times 2 or 4 times 3, whatever you want. What is 13? Nothing. But 21 is 7 times 3 and I can take advantage of it. Right? Alright. Let me do... S now, the, the advantage of this method is you don't have to remember what you have to add to. You just multiply the numbers which come to your mind. Right? Uh, what I mean by that, I'll show you. Uh, I'll do 9 times 71, which is 630 plus 9, which is 639. 630 uh, plus 9 is 639. Um, I just did 71 times 9, you know, uh, 2 by 1 multiplication skills, which becomes 639. And I'll multiply that by 3 in my head, alright, in my head. So this should be 1800 plus 90, 1890, plus 27, 1917. Here it is. Similarly, I can do this as 6 times 2. What is 6 times 13? Is 60 plus 18. 60 plus 18 is 78. Then multiply it by 2. 78 by 2 is 1. Uh, multiply by 2 is 156. Similarly, now I factor the above term here. So it's 70 plus 21. 70 plus 21 is 91. 91 times 3 should be 180. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, let me let let me do it once again. Let me do 70 times plus 21. 70 plus 21 is a 91. 91 times 3. 91 times th 3 should be 273, right? That, that's right. I thought that I made a mistake. I'll leave the last three problems for you to do and uh, f by factoring method and uh, let's do uh, the graphical method and let me do it very quickly and this is the most interesting method but the most tedious as well. So let me do a simple problem because uh, it's very tedious to do big problems in by the graphical method. All right. And this all comes from the Vedas. I can't imagine this that they have discovered such an interesting method. But that's that's um, that's just history, and they were very very intelligent. Then I am.
all right all right then what is now i'll i'll do this by i'll see how many tens are there in 12 12 is just 10 plus 2 and what is 13 13 is 10 plus 3 now i will construct or draw a tens line for 12 i'm drawing 12 so this is 10 and i'll draw 2 so this is 12 this is tens and this is units so 10 plus 2 is 12 and now i'll draw 13 which is 10 plus 3 and this is units and this is tens now what i have to do is find the intersections let me do it with green this is one so i'll write one right here simply write one then i'll add this which is one and two the vertices where they in intersect i'm counting that so it's one two then i'll count this one two three which is five and i'll write five right then i'll count this one two three four five six and i'll write six and you could confirm uh, that uh, twelve times thirteen should be one one hundred fifty six let me confirm it one hundred thirty plus twenty six and that that's one fifty six that perfect let me do one more let me do a little bit tedious one let me do twenty two times times sixty one all right and i'll not split it for you this time i'll just do it this is the tens lines and this is the units line for 22 and let me draw for 61 and uh, that's going to be really tedious so let me extend these lines for 22 so that I could fit in all my 61 line that yellow is of a little slider slider different shade but I think you get the point I'm just extending the lines and let me draw some microscopic lines six lines one two three four five and six and one that's 61 now I count the intersection right here in this area let me count it by let me count it with a different color let me count it with uh, uh, this color right here it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right 12. I write 12 here. Then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that should be 12 again because there are 6 down. 12, 13, and 14. So I write for you. Yeah, I carry the 1. Remember that? And here there is this 2. So it should be 1342. Let me confirm it. I'll consider this to be as 20 plus 2. 20 plus 2. 61 times 2 is 122. 122. 1220. Uh, plus 120. 122, I guess. Yes. 43. 1342. And that matches with this. So our answer is right. And, uh, and hopefully you found this very enjoyable. See you.